I. I, Anthony Maroney. During such times as I hold the office. During such times as I hold the office. Of the county forester and fire warden. Of the county forester and fire warden. Of the county of Los Angeles. Of the county of Los Angeles. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. And that I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and faithfully and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter upon which I am about to enter congratulations chief Maroney thank you thank you Thank you for that gracious introduction, and thank you to the Honorable County of Los Angeles Board of Supervisors and Executive Officer Celia Zavala and her staff for graciously hosting the ceremony today. I am truly humbled by your support and value each of you for being a part of my professional and my personal journey. During our last Recruit Academy, I expressed my gratitude at graduation and appreciation to the family and friends who stood behind and walked alongside our recruits as they completed the academy. And now it is my turn to thank all of you for the trust, confidence, and encouragement that you have given me. To Madam Chair Hahn, Supervisors Solis, Mitchell, Horvath, and Barger, Chief Executive Officer Fisia Davenport, Director of Personnel Lisa Garrett, to my department personnel, peers, and my fellow department heads. I am proud to wear this badge and grateful for the opportunity you have all provided me to serve as the 10th Fire Chief, especially now as we celebrate our department's 100th anniversary. I would not be here today without the love and support of my family and friends. Some are joining us today, including my brother Michael, my sister Vivian, who treated me like her own son, Jean Bryant Hauptman and Nisha Chowdhury, who were like big sisters to me, my nephew Nicholas and my niece Sarah. I would also like to acknowledge my parents, my father Anthony Sr., and most importantly, my loving mother, Corrine, who passed away in October of 2020. I am proud to be a native Angelino and call Los Angeles County home. I grew up not too far from where I work now, in Lincoln Heights and then Highland Park, where my mom single-handedly raised me and supported everything I did in life and influenced the man that stands before you today. In 1982, I found my calling in the fire service, joining the LA City Fire Department's Explorer Program at Fire Station 66. That is where I met my mentor and my fi fire department father, Isaac Burks. And when I came across two lifelong friends who have been there since day one, retired Fire Captain Brent Burton, and LA City Firefighter Ramon Willis. These three individuals have been with me through thick and thin, 
and I'm grateful for their friendship and their guidance over the years. As I reflect and look back, I recognize the importance and value of putting in the time and the effort to get where I am today. It took more than just working hard and pushing myself to learn. It was also about the opportunities that were afforded to me to grow and succeed by my predecessors, retired fire chiefs, Daryl Osby and P. Michael Freeman. I thank each of you for your leadership, your faith in me, and your support. Now, after 39 years in the fire service, I stand here today in a new stage of my professional career as fire chief of the one and only LA County Fire Department. I commit to working hard every day to earn and maintain your trust because the LA County Fire Department stands alone. Our history, our breadth of responsibilities, and the unique leadership role we have in the fire service, both locally, nationally, and throughout the world is second to none. Our personnel stand guard throughout our vast county, from the desert to the beaches, and in the mountains and our metropolitan communities, ready to respond to calls for help, often at great personal sacrifice. They carry throughout their careers the lives that they could not save, and the colleagues who made the ultimate sacrifice but were never forgotten. They come to work the next day once again, ready to protect those in need and serve our residents and communities. The Los Angeles County Fire Department stands alone in the magnitude, the complexity, and the sheer diversity of the work that our firefighters, our lifeguards, and our professional staff undertake each day. We don't simply accept, but we embrace these obligations. And we agree that we can and must set the bar high in all that we do. We stand for the best that the fire service has to offer, and none of us will settle for anything less. I promise to lead with integrity, equity, accountability, transparency, as I turn words into action and create a workplace that fosters diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. We will navigate together through challenging times and look honestly at the reasons and justifications behind every hard decision that will be made. To my 5,000 department personnel, I'm grateful to each of you for your unwavering support and the incredible work that you put in day in and day out. Despite difficult times and unimaginable tragedies during the last two years, we continue to carry with us those who made the ultimate sacrifice along with their families. Thank you for showing up to work, embracing your obligations to serve, and focusing on our mission as proud protectors of life, the environment, and property. In collaboration with the Board of Supervisors, our eight great labor unions, and our stakeholder groups, we will work to stabilize our budget, fund repairs on aging and deteriorating facilities, purchase much needed equipment and apparatus, and fully fund the recent cost of living adjustment. We will focus on employee wellness, find innovative approaches to recruitment, and ensure our hiring processes attract and promote the best and brightest workforce as we provide opportunities for growth and promotion for all personnel, but especially women and people of color, as it is our collective goal 
that our workforce will better represent our amazing county. The road ahead will not always be smooth and free from obstacles, but with input, guidance, and assistance, I'm confident we will forge ahead and make meaningful progress in ways that we can both see and feel. It is truly my honor and privilege to serve as your fire chief as we build upon a legacy of our great predecessors. Thank you.